Hi there, Sean Sturbo, Warranty Manager here at Charleston Homes. Thanks for joining in today. Today I just want to take a couple minutes and talk about um, your concrete and the effects of the winter. A um, couple things you're going to do is first off when the springtime or the nice weather arrives, you're going to want to wash out your garage and also wash, out, wash down your uh, driveway. Um, you can use a power washer or a residential sprayer to do that. They do make detergents, but just regular water out of the hose would work just fine. Um, secondly, um, after that's had a chance to dry a day or two later, is go around and check for any cracks. Um, any cracks that could be caused um, from the heating, um, homes that face north and east are gonna be more susceptible to that freeze cold cycle. And in that case, you're gonna wanna caulk any of those cracks that may have appeared. Um, anything an eighth to a quarter inch in width, you can use a product called Volcom. All you need is a caulk gun, just cut the tip off about an eighth of an inch and just apply that uh, caulking in there based on how wide that crack is. So make sure you get that sealed up. Um, let's go take a look over here. All right, so what I wanted to show you down here is your control joints. Your entire driveway is sectioned off into joints and these joints need to be caulked. If you remember this last year, um, we really didn't get any major frost until about mid-December. At that point, we had a lot of moisture, rain, um, some snow, melt, and what happened was that ground got saturated and then it finally froze, and that's what's causing that heaving. So by caulking these joints, you're gonna prevent any excess moisture, whether it's rain or snow melt, from going underneath that concrete, freezing, and pushing its way up. So it's a good idea to caulk all these joints. If you're not very handy or don't have the time to do that, there are companies that will do it for you. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much a do-it-yourselfer project. Um, do a two-foot section at a time. Just apply a bead. Um, I use a uh, soap and water mix. So I just use a spray bottle. I spray a little there, put a little on my finger. Just wipe that down. It gives you that nice professional look without it kind of getting excessive. If you get too much, you can always just take a rag or let it dry up and just come back and clean it up later. All right, thank you for joining us. And don't forget to check out our website, charlestonhomesomaha.com.